Hello, my name is Mr. Bennett. I'm here to talk to you about the graphics architecture course offered here at Switches Sick Form. So this course is all driven by the world of architecture. So if you have a, a real strong passion and interest in building and design, then this could be the perfect course for you. The course is linear, so study is split over two years. Year 12 is about developing core skills and knowledge through various project works and focused tasks. And then year 13 is where you undertake the major project work and is where most of the assessment occurs. So what this course does, it um, exposes you directly to the world of real industrial architectural practice. How do architects um, interpret a brief, how they extract the main requirements from that brief and use it to inform, you know, research that they might need to do, um, inspiration they need to look at, which is then used to inform the main design process where concepts are created. They are then developed a bit further until one is selected that is then turned into a final proposal where physical outcomes are made and also full sets of work and drawings. We also teach you the importance of architecture, especially how it impacts on society and the world we live in. So for the major projects you undertake in year 13, we look at sustainable design within the built environment. Now this is a very relevant thing that architects deal with at the moment and in the near distant future. The idea about making buildings highly energy efficient, um, whilst also making sure they reduce their carbon footprint. We also consider how do you make existing structures more sustainable as well. Year 12 really does give you a lot. You develop skills and knowledge very quickly. You will learn various ways to present your ideas and design work. And then you will have your own sort of style that you will use um, later on in year 13 and apply when you start the, the major project. So here's some examples of my um, current group's work. As you can see, there's, you know, it showcases the best really of what you will experience if you decide to take this, um, this subject. So there's making, there is working in sketchbooks and also working on A1 boards. What's nice about all of this is that it's all their own. It's their own decision about how they present it, um, how they've decided to develop their ideas, and you have full ownership about how that happens. So in that respect, it offers a lot of creativity and freedom to, to decide on you know, how you want to drive certain projects, and, but also the final outcomes. So a frequently asked question about this course is how will I be assessed? You're assessed against two main components. Component one, the personal investigation. This is the sustainable design project I talked about previously. And then there is component two, which is externally set. So this means that the exam board released their own title or theme, and then you have to interpret it and follow the same sort of process as component one where you, you know, you produce a range of research, design ideas, develop them until you reach a final sort of proposal where you produce various drawings and also a final outcome. So they are both very similar. Component two is just a bit more condensed. And the most important thing about this course is there is no written exam whatsoever. So another common question is where can this course take me? Um, so if it's going to narrow it down, it's pretty much architecture or interior design. I have a number of year 13 students who are going on to study architecture at university, which is absolutely great. But there is also 
uh, scope to look at possibly an interior design course if you if you feel that is an area of architecture that is more suited to you. Thank you for um, taking the time to watch this this video, which hopefully has given you a bit more insight into this this A level course. If you have any questions, please do contact me and I will, of course, um, get back to you. Thank you very much.